Hello, this video is for anyone interested in how to register for a class at uh, Santiago Canyon College through continuing education. So what you need to do first is uh, go on the internet. Here I am at Google using Google Chrome. And now we'll visit our school website. So let's go to our school website. So that's sccollege.edu. And watch out for the number of C's right there. Remember, it's SC College. So there should only be two C's there. Then hit enter. All right, here we are at a school website. So previously we used to use WebAdvisor to register for classes, but we are retiring WebAdvisor. We are moving over to self-service right over here. All right, so to log in, you're gonna need to use your student email. If you don't know, if you don't know what your student email is, it's right over here. Here's an example. Let's zoom into that. All right, you're gonna use your WebAdvisor ID, which is what you used to use to log into WebAdvisor or to the computers on campus at student.sccollege.edu. If uh, you register as Santa Ana College, then it's going to be .sac.edu. But most of my students are from uh, Santiago Canyon College and use the Santa Ana College. Sorry, Santiago Canyon College email. Most of my students are from Santiago Canyon College. All right, so let's log in right here. All right, so here's my login. It's a little bit different since uh, I'm an employee, so I use a different uh, format. But here we go. All right, you might get something like this. Uh, you can wait it out. If not, I click on that post button and it's there. So like I mentioned before, I am an employee, so I have this uh, extra additional employee tab here. You might not have one. So, uh, But to register for class, it's going to be the same format. So here on the left side, the left side right here, this left panel, you're going to want to click on the cap right there for academics. Click on that cap. There we go. And uh, you would think you would go to register for classes, but this is an easier, faster method. We're going to scroll down a little bit, spin the wheel on the mouse. We're going to click on Instant Enrollment. CE for continuing education students only right here all right and then this date here might might throw us off because it's going to give us any classes that have been active since as of today the recording of this video is October 21st so we're going to delete that right there and just click search uh, because filling in these other uh, criteria here is just makes it too specific makes it harder to choose classes so just click search there there we go all right I have two options here for what school so this and uh, Santa Ana College, the first one there, and this is Santiago Canyon College. If you have two options, just choose the one appropriate for wherever you're looking for a class. So I'm going to go with this one here. All right. Uh, we have different types of departments in continuing education. So we have adult basic education writing. And um, most of my students aren't from there. They're from the business classes. So we're going to go over here. We're going to type in the section code for business. It's going to be V, B U S for vocational business, and then enter. All right, and here's all my computer classes, or the computer classes offered through my department, the bus. All right, so I can scroll through here. Here's Intro to Web Design, and it tells me uh, when it starts. So that starts January 12th, and it's over April 29th. Cool. And they have meetings on Tuesdays from 5.30 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. And so it's a hybrid class, so it's online, plus they have meetings. And there's instructor right here. I can scroll through here, look for other classes. So I'm going to look for one of mine. I know I teach 3D modeling, 3D animation, so it's going to be 100, 101, and 105. So I'm going to click on this class right here. So it gives me additional information about it. If I want to read more, I'm going to close that out. So if you want to select a class, I'm going to click here, select. There it is, and you get that same window again. Uh, before I go there, just notice um, some classes here do not have a meeting time. That means there are there are no meetings. It's 100% online, and it's um, you uh, work at your own pace. And they have new content released every week. I also release new content every week, but uh, the actual lesson is during our meeting times. So here for this class will be Tuesdays from 4 to 5, and they start uh, January 12th, and it'll be over April 29th. So I'm going to go with this class right here, select, and it's a hybrid. And then add section. All right. And then it takes me to the top. It does take you to the top. Just spin the wheel, go to the top. Once you're done selecting classes, you can select more than one. I'm going to select my other class. Here we go, add section. And then click next. If you want to progress forward, click next. And there it is. We got a quick survey here, educational goal. Uh, choose an educational goal here, vocational certificate. Uh, looking forward to get a, a bachelor's. Let's see, improve basic skills, educational development. There we go. <clears throat> Reason for taking this class uh, for my for my health, for my family, my family self, my future job skills. Uh, I'm going to go with future job skills. So I uh, just take other classes here and the RO for job skills just to develop myself and make, you more, make me more competitive in the, um, in the workforce. You learn, well, how, how have you learned about this class? 
Uh, we have newspaper ads, radio ads, TV ads, and uh, most of our students actually find out about our classes from uh, word of mouth, recommended by somebody. But if you did hear about our classes through another method, please select that one so we know where to invest, where to, where to advertise more or less. A friend recommended it. Submit. And just wait here. Loading pay for classes. All right, it's just going to cost me $0. Awesome. I love that. Free 99 <clears throat> All right, so this is for the, uh, the credit side where students do have to pay uh, per unit per semester. Uh, if you change your mind about a class, you can click delete. Once you're ready to register, just click register, and then you get an email letting you know you register for the classes to confirm. So uh, that wraps it up. If you have any questions or comments, you can always just leave it down there in the comments. Appreciate all those comments. If you find this video uh, tutorial helpful, please give me a like, a subscription, anything else. Take care. Have an awesome day. Bye.